Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker Campus, and it's always a blessing to be with you. As a follower of Jesus Christ, when others hear you talk, does it reflect a life that is being changed by Christ? Do they hear words of encouragement, words of blessing, words that build them up? Or do you speak in a way that you used to speak, or the way you used to talk? Do they hear the old you, you know, the person you were before coming to Jesus? where our words were more abrasive and we didn't care what came out of our mouths. And instead of building others up with our words, we tore them down with our words. Remember, the Bible says that we are a new creation and we are to walk in this newness of life. That means we no longer live in a way that we used to live. We no longer think the way we used to think and we no longer talk the way we used to talk. And Paul the Apostle reminds us in Ephesians 4 to walk in a manner worthy of the calling which you have been called. And he tells us to put the old self, the old way of living, the old way of thinking, the old way of talking, to put that away and to put on the new self created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. And in verse 29 of chapter 4, he says this. He says this. He says, Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths but only such as is good for building up as fits the occasion that it may give grace to those who hear. You know, you can usually tell what's going on inside a person when you hear someone talk because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth is going to speak. What's in your heart or what's inside will come out. And we're responsible for what goes into our hearts and minds. And we're also responsible for what comes out of our mouths, how we talk. So being mindful of how we talk isn't so that we can be a goody two-shoes or have our nose in the air. It's a reminder that we are being changed daily by the renewing of our minds as we pray and as we read the Word of God and as we draw closer to Jesus each and every single day. So that when others hear us talk, it will encourage them, it will bless them, and it will build them up, that it may give grace to those who hear. You see, how we talk should reflect who we serve. Remember, we're always representing Jesus, and our lives should reflect His character. And it's our family, it's our kids, it's our co-workers, those in our community that are paying attention to how we talk. Are they hearing words that build them up, or are they hearing words that tear them down? Are they hearing a, the new self in Christ, or are they hearing the old self in you? Remember, we're responsible for what comes out of our mouths. So, will you let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths? But only such is as good for building up as fits the occasion that it may give grace to those who hear. I hope you do. God bless you.